<clears throat> Welcome everybody to the stream tonight. Uh, what I want to ask my uh, my moderators to do, uh, put a one in the chat box if you can hear my voice clearly. Good evening. Shout out to Gail. If you can hear my voice clearly, I want to make sure the sound is right because we have an explosive stream tonight. I want to make sure you don't miss anything. Make sure you can hear my voice very clearly. Awesome. Thank you, Thomas Green. I appreciate you for getting on the stream tonight, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blow this we're gonna blow this story up until it explodes. We're not going to stop. I don't intend to to stop at all talking about this stream. Again, I want to shout out to all of you that get on the stream tonight while it's airing. And for those of you that get on after it's already streamed live, I appreciate you as well. I appreciate you as well. For all of my new YouTube subscribers, I want to say to you again, shout out, thank you for your support. Uh, as you come into the building, for those that watch this on YouTube, please coming into the building, hit the subscribe button and the share button. It's very important. I want to tell you how important it is that when you come into the building that you hit the subscribe button and share. Why is that important? Because it gets the it gets the message out and it gets it out clearly to so many different people. You have no idea how valuable you are by simply hitting the subscribe button and the share and the share button. You have no idea how important you are. And uh, I will tell you, you're very valuable in getting this story out. I'm going to show you how important you are in this stream by what I'm going to share tonight with this stream. Again, I want to, I, want to, I don't want to miss anyone. Uh, let me see, who did I miss? Okay. I, I think I got everybody so far. Uh, I trust that everyone has had a fantastic afternoon, evening. Um, I trust that you all guys are very anticipating the holidays being with your families, being with your your loved ones, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, your uncles, and all the family members that you love dearly. I'm 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 uh, I'm going to assume that you're very excited about the upcoming holidays if in fact you celebrate it. I won't get into the politics of it all, but I I will tell you this. Most holidays are celebrated in our community. And whether you agree with the holiday or not, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's usually the only holiday, it's only usually the holidays that we can depend on where we know we can see our relatives outside of a funeral. That's sad. Outside of a funeral or outside of some tragedy that takes place within our family, we can depend on our family members coming together. So I'm sure that many of you are looking forward to the holidays that's coming up whether you celebrate it or not, I know that you will be present because you know that's when your family is present. You know, some of you have decided not to receive gifts on this holiday. I'm like you, I don't celebrate Christmas in, this, in the traditional sense, no I don't. But I look forward to the fact that family, they know to come together on these holidays. So we look forward to those holidays only because we have the privilege of having our family close to us. Perhaps we may not have seen them all year. Perhaps in some cases we may, we may not have seen them for years and they come together on those holidays. And outside of the holidays, again, we only see them when a death takes place or some tragedy takes place. And uh, that's sad, that's sad, I will say that. But I trust that you all are looking forward to the holidays that's coming up so that you can enjoy your family. Which makes tonight's subject all the more important because uh, you see the title, hashtag justice for Shankola Robinson. Shankola's older sister speaks to the NC Beat. And I want to say shout out to the NC Beat and the head of the NC Beat, Mr. Gerald Jackson. And for those of you that are not familiar with Gerald Jackson, I would encourage you to go over to Facebook, type in the search 
NC Beat. So you can find out who this individual is and what this platform represents. This brother is the first boots on the ground. You know, he's the first boots that were on the ground where this story is concerned. Had it not been for the NC Beat, this story would have never taken the amount of attention that it has gotten up to this point. I believe the NC Beat under the leadership of Gerald Jackson, who is run, who, who, who heads the, that NC Beat platform. I believe because of him, this interview, this story, I should say, has taken the ground that it's taken, regardless of what some of you may feel about Gerald Jackson <laughs> is irrelevant. Uh, he was the first boots on the ground. And I say, from my personal standpoint, shout out to Gerald Jackson. I salute you, much respect for you, for getting your boots on the ground first and speaking with the family, showing the kind of compassion that you've shown and showing the kind of understanding that you've shown to the grief that they are experiencing as a family in the loss of their daughter, their sister, and extended family members who are also grieving over the loss of Mrs. Shanquilla Robinson, which you know is a horrific crime. We are not gonna stop talking about this. I don't care how many people get tired of hearing it. If you're tired of hearing it, it's probably because it didn't take place in your family. And this is the really sad thing in our community a lot of times, which you've heard me mention in previous streams. A lot of times we're only sensitive to things that happen to us personally. But I will tell you, a tragedy for one is a tragedy for all of us. This is why we're going to continue talking. I know that I am. We're gonna continue talking about this subject until we see justice had for the Robinson and Long family. Facts, it's not gonna change. So we're gonna get into it tonight. And I believe this is gonna be an interesting uh, stream for you to hear. Some of you have, may have heard it already. And if you have, this for you is simply a recap. Perhaps you may hear something that you missed in the first time you heard it. But we're gonna go over this again. And again, shout out to Gerald Jackson from the NC Beat for stepping out of the box and doing an interview like this. Shout out to you, man. Um, I wanna say, uh, as we approach the holidays, for those of you that celebrate the holidays, I can remember when I was growing up, this holiday was, it meant a lot to me when I was celebrating it. It meant a lot to me because I was a young person and I remember, I remember the anxiety that I had on Christmas Eve. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure many of you can remember the anxiety you had as well, where you were told to go to sleep and uh, you could not wake up in the middle of the night because if you did, then you would be noticed and something would happen to you. <laughs> Salt and pepper in your eye. You, you remember that story. Um, but outside of that, I'm sure you remember five o'clock in the morning, getting up, still in your pajamas, coming downstairs, and all of you and your whole family the ones that were there, you surrounded yourself around on the floor in front of the in front of the tree, right? And you were all scurrying around looking for the present that had your name on it. That was the highlight of the morning of December 25th. Because you were looking for what had your name on it. And as you found it, everybody stopped and they watched you tear off the wrappings of that particular gift, right? And the whole euphoria of the family being together and the smell in the air in the room of a sweet potato pie, perhaps, that was baked the night before, which you were told Santa Claus was supposed to 
take a slice out. <laughs> you found out later that it wasn't Santa Claus that took the slice. It was your Uncle Paul or your Uncle Pete. But you understand where I'm going with this. It was about family. It was about family. And it was about the warmth of having family around. I want you to hold that thought. And I want you to hold that feeling that I'm describing to you right now. And I want you to now think of Mrs. Robinson who lost her daughter. And I want you to think about Mr. Bernard Robinson who lost his daughter. And I want you to think about Tequila Long who lost her younger baby sister. I want you to think about them when December 25th comes because it's approaching very fast. It's approaching very fast. They would have not only been celebrating the 25th of what we call Christmas with her present and the warmth and euphoria of what it is to have family close to you, sharing gifts which represent the love I have for you, the appreciation I have for you. This is what the whole holiday is all about. Forget Santa Claus, forget the chimney. We already know. I don't have to say anymore. It's about family. But this December 25th, it'll still be about family, yes. But one family member will be absent from that equation. And then shortly thereafter, they will have to embark upon what would have been her birthday, January the 9th. 2023 she would have been celebrating her 26th birthday so they have to suffer two disappointments two back to back december 25th shankula is not around nor will she be around for any december 25th going into the future she will not be there to celebrate a birthday of january the 9th in the future anymore it would only be a memorial to remember who she was what she represented justice has not been served up to this point oh no justice has not been served that young lady who lost her life october the 29th 19 2022 pardon me She lost her life, October the 29th, 2022. She is now, as we speak, underground. She's buried. I really want us to try our very best to put ourselves in her place. I'm talking about her mother put ourselves in her in his place meaning her father put ourselves in the extended family members who loved her and who know they have to suffer the loss of her life the loss of her presence the loss of her laugh the loss of her conversation going into the future not just for today as we speak on this case but forever, long after this case has ended, and hopefully, prayerfully, justice has been served, they will still have to suffer these dates that I just mentioned. This holiday, her birthday, and they'll always have to be reminded that every October the 29th that arrives was the day they lost their loved one. Shanquilla Robinson. I want us to really get sensitive to this uh, so tragic issue and the so tragic event that took place in this 25 year old young lady's life who had so much life ahead of her. And it's really disheartening and sad to me that so many so many content creators and man you know i gotta keep saying this uh for some of you content creators 
I don't know what to say about you. Um, maybe you should get therapy because for some of the things that you're posting in your streams, where this case is concerned, you really ought to be ashamed of yourself. But I know you're not. I know you're not. You're not ashamed of yourself at all because you think mm -hmm. a story, regardless of the reasons for why you did it, should go overlooked. But let me tell you something. I heard, and I will tell you this, I heard uh, a content creator, and I won't call her name. It was a her. I won't call her name. She had the audacity to do a stream where she talked and she insinuated, dropped the poisonous seed that her mother perhaps had something to do with the demise of Miss Shanquella Robinson, her own daughter. You know, I want to say to you, if you see my stream, you really ought to be ashamed of yourself. You really ought to be ashamed of yourself. Because I'm going to tell you something that's so silly with some of you. You don't understand that the internet is forever. You really need to get a, a memo that the internet is forever. What you say, like bullets, you cannot take them back. You can recant, you can apologize, like I said in a previous stream, but you cannot take back the fact that you said it. To insinuate in any kind of way that Mrs. Robinson had something to do or perhaps was in some kind of conspiracy or cahoots with something happening to her daughter based on the fact that she doesn't cry enough. You know, some of you are really silly. <laughs> uh, you're so silly, it's beyond definition. But some of you are so silly and you actually said that unbelievable that you would record it as if what you were saying had any relevance or foundation to it so inconsiderate so disrespectful so disrespectful so inconsiderate you know and you really should be ashamed of yourself but again i know you're not so let's continue tonight hashtag justice for shanquilla robinson shanquilla's oldest sister speaks to the nc beat and again shout out to gerald jackson the first boots on the ground salute to you my brother salute to you and again i want to thank all of you who got on the stream tonight all of you who got on the stream tonight, I really appreciate you. We're going to get right into it. Right into it. Right into it. Before I do this, I want to do this. Fair Use Act Disclaimer. This, this site is for educational purposes only. Fair Use Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use, for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing. Fair use definition. Fair use is a doctrine in the United States copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights holder such as commentary, criticism, news, reporting, research, teaching, or scholarship. It provides for the legal non-licensed citation of or incorporation of the copyrighted material in another author's work under a four-factor balancing test. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get into it. 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 Let's get into it
let's get into it. Again, I want to thank all of you that got on the stream tonight. Again, as you come into the building, hit the subscribe button and the share button. Appreciate you. All right, let's get into it. Um, it is such a pleasure that I have the opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one over the phone with Shanquilla Robinson's sister this morning, Quilla Long. This is a pre-recorded video. So to all of those who are watching, thank you so much. And don't forget to hashtag justice for Shanquilla Robinson. Still to this day, it has not changed. We want Cabo sits arrested, absolutely sent back to Mexico to do their time where they did the crime. Yes. And I want to um, just say thank you all so much for supporting this family. Thank you all so much for sharing Shanquilla Robinson's story. And right now, uh, I want to say, Quilla, thank you so much for taking this opportunity to speak with me. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. How 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 are you doing? Oh, go ahead. Um, every day is different. Mm. I'm not gonna say every day. I'm gonna say every hour, every minute, every second because yeah. uh, two days ago, uh, what was it Saturday? I was in a good mood Saturday. Um, I'm kind of in a slump today, so every every day is different. You know, I could be happy an hour from now, and uh, yeah. an hour after that, I'm I'm back in a slump. Yeah. Wow. And I, I know that's hard, you know, for the simple fact that, you know, just thinking about everything that has transpired, you know, and the lies, you know, that were told, you know, to you and your family in y'all space. How, how's mom doing? Mom is the same. Everybody's pretty much the same. It's different yeah. every day for, for, for each of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. How's how's Mr. Uh, Bernard doing? Uh, his is pretty much the same too. He's he's Brilliant. taking it, he's taking it a, a lot harder, and I think that's more because that's his, that was his only child. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had future plans, you know. We all did, but he especially yeah. Yeah. wanted certain things. Yeah, yeah. I I I just, you know, Quilla is 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 just so crazy how everything is transpiring and i know a lot of things are being put out that's not true right. um and and i know you know we've spoken you know about these things and it's like where are these people coming up right you know with these things now i do where want to ask from? you you were there from under a rock you, before all from? of this went viral you saw khalil cook Dejane Jackson and Winter Donovan, and you spoke to them uh, when they right. came to your, your your house, right? Yes. Can you kind of tell me what was that conversation like? Uh, pretty much asking them what happened on the trip, mm -hmm. and um, telling them, asking them pretty much what we heard right. happened. And of yeah. course, they denied it. Yeah. Um, they sat here and said there wasn't any type of fight. No hands was thrown. You know how the young kids talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know I've seen people say that they came in here and they ate. I don't recall them. They didn't eat anything. Right. Actually. Yeah. We all had them in one room talking to them. Right. Right. Um, yeah. And I know that night, uh, of course, if we knew then what we know now, they probably they wouldn't have left my house because it was nothing but family here. Mm -hmm. I'll hear with a brook mm -hmm. loose. So you know they weren't gonna come in here and tell us mm -hmm. that they was fighting her. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. They came them girls came one night, and I believe that was Tuesday night. After mm -hmm. that we didn't see them anymore. This is the system. Remember, uh I wanna make you make it clear to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the sister, the oldest sister of Shane Corla Robinson that's talking. As a disclaimer, she's in she's 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 grieving her sister. So there's going to be some mix. It's going to be some uh, some language that you may not be uncomfortable that you may be comfortable with. But I want you to get past the uncomfortable language that you hear. This is a sister that's grieving over the death of her sister. Just listen to it. Just hear it. 
and heal from which she's from the heart from which she's coming from okay uh, I find it very interesting that they were able or they felt bold enough to come to her mother's house and explain a lie that they had told 2,000 miles away on the phone they carried that same lie for 2,000 miles back to the United States and went into her mother's house and shared the same lie and managed to pull up tears <laughs> I mean you couldn't get a better Oscar winning performance than that it's very sad I tell you uh, the state of mental illness is so serious let's continue one person that um, kept coming was Kalia and I think that was just more to get information to report back to them and tell them what he knew mm -hmm. or what we knew mm -hmm. yeah yeah he, well, he wasn't concerned at all. He just wanted to see what was going on. Try to see what was going on. I see, have, have, uh, I, I got it. They got to know that somebody, they, somebody sent that video to somebody, half mm -hmm. of it. So yeah. you're probably trying to see if we see it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Possibly, possibly. And when they came over there, they told y'all alcohol poisoning. They said alcohol poisoning, which we all were still skeptical about it. But us thinking that Kalia was a true friend to her. Right, right. And we're going off of what he mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It, it kind of took a, took mm. took everything away. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Because we, right. we was thinking we could trust him and he would right. be honest with us. Right, right. Because at the time you had no you had no reason not to trust him. Yeah, we had is, no reason not to. Yeah, this wow. is someone that's been on family vacations. I mean, right. knowing your, your sister. Mm -hmm. For years and and. Wow. We just we just, we just all went to Vegas last year in October, around the yeah. time that they took their trip to um, Cabo. We was all in Vegas wow. last year. You, uh, he was with us and about ten of my ten of my cousins. We all wow. out there having a good time. Have a you know what's funny about this? When I heard that, I was like, "Wow!" I was just in Vegas last year in September. She was in Vegas last year. <laughs> in october just a month prior to me leaving and i'm like man i mean not that i would have recognized who she was i could have went i could have walked past a million shankola robinsons but to know that she was right there just a few weeks after i left las vegas uh, my wife and i had a great time in vegas and the fact that this individual was there mr Khalil Cook. Huh. You were there. You were there with her just a year ago. A great time. Her whole family. Her mother, her sister, and her extended family members. And you sat and watched her get beat to the point where it cost her her whole life. Cost her her life. What kind of individual are you? What kind of individual? What kind of human being are you? They got to make a whole, do, whole new definition for you. Whole new definition. And I'll tell you something, folks. The, the level of mental illness that we suffer in our community, huh? It's unexplainable. You can't even explain it. You can't make it up. You can't write it up. And you can't explain it. How could you go to a trip just 12 months earlier with her whole family? And this is only talking about one incident, folks. From what I understand, this gentleman has gone on many trips with her family. Many times eaten at her home many times, going on many different family gatherings many times. What kind of human being is this that you could watch your best friend get beat mercilessly to the point where ultimately it costed her her life I don't know what kind of human being you are, but I will tell you this. You don't deserve to be breathing the same oxygen as everybody else. 
I'm going to tell you that, Mr. Khalil Cook. Find a rock to hide under. It's going to be overturned. Find a basement to hide in. It will be found. Find an attic to hide in. It will be discovered. Find a family member that will hide you. And you and your family member will go to jail. You will go to jail for what you're guilty of. And they will go to jail for hiding you. As an accessory. After the fact. So. Show the world what exactly do you care about. You care about saving your own ass? Do you care about your family members who are innocent to what you found yourself guilty of participating in? Let the world know exactly what kind of person you are. Keep hiding. Keep ducking the authorities when you know you had something to do with it. Oh, maybe you didn't put your hands on her, no. But you damn sure recorded it and you didn't stop it. This is supposed to be your best friend. Somebody you had a relationship with her sister, her mother, and her extended family members. What kind of human being are you, Khalil Cook? Will the real Khalil Cook please stand up? Let's continue. And he wasn't, he wasn't funny acting strange or... No, he wasn't. And to be honest yeah. with you, I was clear. Yeah. He didn't show it. You, you wouldn't have thought him to be that malicious. You wouldn't have took him to be that. Yeah. And that's what, and I think that that's mm. more fucked that's up than anything. Happens. Because I kept saying, mm. you know, my cousin kept saying, no, something ain't right about that. And I kept saying, I don't think that dude would do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually yeah. how it happens. And folks. damn it, there, there it is. There Clear as day. And I know I, I've seen people say, when my mama do her interview, she ain't showing no type of emotion. She ain't crying. What mm -hmm. what, what crying gonna do? Them motherfuckers came over here. They boohoo tears. Yeah, crocodile wow. tears. And they murdered her. So what crocodile you tears. You hear somebody cry, what does that fucking mean now? You know, the crocodile cries before it you eat you. It don't mean nothing. My mama crocodile breaks down tears. every night. We both in here fighting through this. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We weren't supposed to get on TV and show you that. We yeah. tired of showing you everything else. And then they saying that, well, the mama must be lying. Hell, the, my mama was fed a lie. Right. Mm -hmm. So she telling you fed what was told to her. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. People, something else. And you know what? It's always uh -huh. our own. Can't it's explain it. Can't people. explain it. Own people. Our own people. You said that. You said Can't that. Can't explain it. Own people is always uh, instead of you trying to say the mama ain't crying enough for you. Then when, it, when she get up there and do cry, then what? She ain't crying enough. She didn't enough. cry long enough. Come on. She didn't cry harder or, or they were fake crying. Come on. That's Nobody crazy. has to show you their pain. That's right. You, know, you no. can see that in her face. She That's exhausted. Right. We mm -hmm. all are tired. Mm -hmm. Our life has been changed. And what I mean by that? Forever. It's in the public. Forever. The worst thing that can, I mean, it's been, it's been great because it's not, it, is, it has been positive. And yeah. what I mean by that, I got a hundred of messages in my, yeah. I had to shut down my Break for, for a while. Yep. I got millions of messages. Yep. I got um I got three over three thousand something yep. new friend requests. Yeah. yeah. You know, I got a bunch of messages yeah. in my in my Instagram. My love, right. Yeah. And you know what? Here's what's funny. The ones that called the ones that reached out to her page trying to be her friend with friend requests. I'm gonna tell you something that I learned about about uh social media. Default. Maybe uh -huh. that's a default term for social media, friend and friend request. I'm going to tell you something about that so-called friend. Your friend request on social media is about as, about as uh, genuine as a personal friend that you think is your friend. I don't care how many friends you got on social media. I know you know they're not your friend. I know you know that. That's a default setting for that social media page. That if someone connects to you, they're labeled as friend. So you send out a friend request on Facebook.
I know you know they're not your damn friend, right? I know you know that. Yeah. If you get a following on any other social media page, I know you know they're not really following you. See, because to follow means someone has to lead. I know you don't think they're following you because they're looking for you to lead. No. Those are default settings. She said 3,000 people sent her friend requests. 3,000 nosy ass people sent her a friend request that had no intentions on really being her friend. You'd be surprised. I'm starting to realize the pathology of the psychology of mental illness with people. They do things for no reason at all. It don't make any sense. I want to send you a friend request. Really? What kind of friend are you? What kind of friend are you? You know, let's get into it. To be honest, the love that the world has shown us has kind of made it put some ease to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We yeah. go out in public, everybody knows us. Our yeah. life has completely changed. And I don't know what God they serve, the ones to teach us show us emotion. Our God is hell of a honey. We strong yeah. over here. Yes, yeah, strong. Come on That's now. Right. That's right. We strong over Come here. On. We got to we got to stand up and we don't want to do these interviews. Yeah. They keep telling yeah. us we got to we got to put it out. Yeah. We got to keep our name going. Yeah. We don't want to do these interviews. Yeah. We don't yeah. want to I don't want to be on TV. I would did a press conference right before her rally, mm -hmm. and I think I made three or four statements. Mm -hmm. Now my picture everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Then they took then they took the video and said that I said that they was arrested. Right. We don't even then, have a sense yeah. enough to go in and pull up the whole video. Don't have the sense to do You see, you got to know that people sitting out clippings and cutting videos. Exactly. Cutting the chopper Come them on, up. y'all, we, 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 got, we got to do better. We got to do better. And it's just so crazy, like, you know, and I think it's these, 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 these struggling YouTubers that don't know That's nothing. what it is. We know you get money for them likes. But then don't be, you don't have to, you don't have to be negative about it or try to bring no. down somebody who's already going through something. Let me tell you what these struggling, let me tell you what these struggling streamers are doing. The ones that's writing, uh, that's sharing misinformation. And for any content creator that hears this stream, I'm talking exactly to you. I'm talking directly to you. A struggling streamer is a, is a streamer that's struggling for, to get authentic information. Yeah. Because you don't want to do the work. You don't want to do the research. You don't want to fact check what you say. That's what makes you struggle. You wouldn't have to struggle so hard if you were willing to do the homework, if you were willing to get the information that was authentic. You wouldn't have to struggle so hard. Struggling comes from the lack of work. Once you do the work, and if you do the necessary research to get the information that would be accurate, factual, you wouldn't be struggling anymore. Because the information found has already been done for you. So you wouldn't have to struggle. You just have to find the credible information and then report the re credible information. Understand what's wrong with some of you that's willing to report any goddamn thing and you don't fact check nothing because you're not thinking about the mother and you're not thinking about the father. You're not thinking about them. You're thinking about yourself. That's who you're thinking about, yourself. Because if you were thinking about the mother who's grieving over the loss of her daughter, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you were thinking about the father who's grieving over the loss of his daughter, you would take the time, the necessary time, to get the information and fact check it. That's what you would do. And some of you are so deplorable, so despicable, that even after the information is found to be false, you still left your channel up. You still left your post up, your video up. You didn't, you didn't take the video down. You didn't take the video down. You left the video up. Because some of y'all are like prostitutes. You just want clickbait. You want somebody to click your video. You want new subscribers on false information. 
never concerning yourself with the fact with how the mother is feeling or how the father is feeling this is not a game this is a real life situation that took place somebody lost their life somebody is dead right now They're in the ground underneath the ground six feet some of y'all and i know you're not but some of y'all most of y'all that have done this you should be ashamed of yourself you should be going back to your videos and taking the videos down but i know you're not going to do it i know you're not going to do it because there's too many things that you're benefiting from personally Irregardless of how the mother feels or how the father feels or how her sister feels or how her extended family members feel. And I promise you this, I don't care how mad you get at me. I don't care. Because this story is personal. I lost a son March the 2nd, 2014. So personally, I really don't give a damn how many of you content creators get mad at me for saying what I'm saying. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Many of you, for some of the things that you broadcast on your channel, knowing that you have not fact-checked it, you're coming from opinions, assumptions, suppositions, no facts whatsoever, planting seeds in people's head about her mother. And what, uh, what motivations she may have had in the demise of her own daughter. Some of you actually had the nerve to get in front of a camera and say that. I won't call no names. I'm talking to you. You know I'm talking to you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But I know you're not. <laughs> you know, I know you're not shamed at all. I just wanted to make sure you know that you are recognized. Let's get back into it. Look, tell the truth, and the truth would be, why the FBI haven't called nobody? Why they haven't arrested or questioned nobody? Get out here and call the embassy. We don't put up all type of numbers type yeah. of numbers for you to reach out to people even them put up people email yeah. email people do that yeah. get on your platform yeah. and say people let's make these calls let's do yeah. this let's do this yeah. why are you trying to address something trying to bring something negative out of mm -hmm. it exactly and to sit here and talk about miss salamandra and everything she's going through she, like you said she don't have to show y'all no emotion and if she did you still will have something to say you still have something to say you don't know what still has going something to say. How many tears she have cried behind closed doors? Do you not? Do you not think that when this family is trying to do interviews, that they trying to stay strong so they right. can get out what they're trying to say, so you can understand right. them? Stop you making a circus out of her daughter's death. Get ourselves together. Yeah. You know yeah. they don't realize that because yeah. they haven't been through it, so they don't know nothing about I'm it. Talking to you. Think about it. They don't know right, I put up a video the day of her rally. I'm, I'm, I was actually happy that day. Yeah, I'm to dance right. a little bit. I got to find my happy place. I had somebody coming under there. It's too soon for that. Well, motherfucker, what you want me to do? Do you want mm. me to continue to sit in my room and and yeah. and and, and, yeah. and bring in this darkness? Right. I got to get up. I got to move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. You know, people. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Jackson, the NCB. They, they, they have tried everything that they, and it's not everybody because a lot of, of people we stand behind y'all. You already know where I'm at. Yeah. You are, yeah. since you already know, I love y'all, and you know we love you. If it wasn't for you, it, it wouldn't be where it's at. Because the news would tell us, no, you can't say their names. No, you can't do that. I had that phone conversation with you, names and pictures. Everything. Boom, there it is. Everything. No problem. No. And that was started. That's yeah. what started. And people got to realize that too. They keep telling us to do that. If it wasn't for us doing that, mm -hmm. nobody would know. We would still be in there. We were still right. We and, all you and, know is that something happened to some girl in Cabo. Now look yeah. at all this stuff that you know. You got her name. You Facts. hashtag. Facts. It. Yeah. You you uh yeah. we rallying. The world yeah. is the the world is talking about it. Facts. Everybody is mad yeah. about it. Facts. Yeah. yeah. 
Absolutely. All of that, all of that, out of that, and you still get a group of negative people, our people again. Yeah, always. Black people. Black people trying to, trying to bring the worst out of it. Try to bring the worst out of someone. And at this point, that makes sense out of put it, all that energy into this negative. Put it into calling the FBI, asking them. That's what I'm talking right about. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do something positive with your life. Please, Let me just would you? That. You know what something. I'm saying? That's and you know what? It's and then this cousin, this this cousin. <laughs> you know, I spoke to you about this girl who. Right. <laughs> I told you I didn't even know who she was. Oh man. We got all kind of cousins now. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> like you done hit the lottery or something. Yeah. That's another thing. Quit believing everything you see and what everybody posts. Can't make it up, exactly. people. Exactly. Can't make it up. Like that's like when they said, Oh, she's been arrested. <laughs> that girl haven't been arrested. Then you get everybody putting up. She was arrested. She was arrested. Which Not even good, close to being arrested. False information. False information. <laughs> God. False information. And, oh. They're not going to tell the, the 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 media nothing that we do not know. Thank you. They're not going to tell mm -hmm. you guys something and we don't have a clue about it. That's what I kept on telling them, sis. I kept on saying, like, the, the, the prosecutors and the police, they are representing the estate of Shanquella Robinson, right. okay? Right. Her, Shanquella's family, her sister, her mom, her dad, right. they are over her estate. So if anything related to this case, they, right. the family, will be the first one, the authorities first notify. They're going to call both exactly. of us and they ain't even going to relate the information exactly. over the phone. They'll have us come in. Exactly. Thank They'll have you. us come in and tell us what's going yeah. on. Stop yeah. falling for the Just garbage, right. people. Yo, yeah. and then when this 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 Mexican reporter had reported it, and you know, I told the people there's been no arrest, and then Tamika Mallory told the people there's been no arrest, then they want to get mad at him. But right. y'all have already said it too a week before he even wrote it up that she was arrested. So right. she done right. got arrested two times. Right. No right. arrest. No arrest. Nobody has been arrested. No one has been arrested nope. in this case. That's what we need to use these platforms for. You know That's what? what we need to use the platform. I want to say this. For those of you that tried to come out and attack Gerald Jackson, saying as if he as if he spun the narrative that Dejeuner was arrested and in custody. That's not what he did. That's not what he did. What he did was he gave an interview to an individual that said she was arrested. All he did, he did what any journalist would have done. He gave an interview to someone who said they had some information and he shared that information publicly on a platform, on his platform. He didn't say he agreed, he just gave the interview and many of you attacked him saying that, see, he's trying to say that Dejeuner was arrested. He never said that. Go back and watch the interview. He never agreed to anything. All he did was gave the interview. I just want to say that. Shout out to Joe Jackson, man. Put his name out there because Quilla, they are act, they are moving and acting like they ain't did nothing. Oh no, they living. They I'm not even gonna say they living their best life. You know, at her. At her rally, Sunshine Anderson got up there and she said it best that don't nobody want to be around them, actually. <laughs> they're not right. they're not happy right now. They can't go nowhere right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And if they are uh -huh. going somewhere or going to somebody's job, somebody at the job feeling funny about it. Joel is. Joel is. And they're gonna let us know where they're at. Mm -hmm. And guess what we're gonna do? Mm -hmm. Shut them down, make them go back <laughs> in the house. Make them go back <laughs> in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them probably ain't even coming out at all. For sure. They got their cousins coming out. They got their mamas coming out somewhere. Mm -hmm. They ain't moving. They sitting in the house. Yeah. That's and then right. they done did what they did to my sister. Yeah. What you think they see when they get online now? That's right. That's Nothing right. But Shanquilla. Nothing but Shanquilla. What you think they see uh -huh. when they put on the TV? Mm -hmm. That's all they that's see. That's all that we see. That's all we see. That's all we see. So our grieving is hard. We can't grieve. We right. can't grieve until we get a peace of mind. They and we can't and even we can grieve in a in normal way, family. Like, and, and like and I said on not, the previous stream. They cannot grieve normally. Mm. 
Not the way mm -hmm. we I ain't rest and I don't know how long. I don't even sleep. So sad, man. So mm -hmm. sad. Mm. Somebody told me I look good for what I for what I going through. I damn sure do. You do. You do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All of y'all don't even like what you're going through or what you've been through. That's what we That's have to do. That's how you know God is good. We go That's how you know like his. That's why I say our God we is hell of a honey. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And you know <clears throat> a uh, a post thing because you know sources spotted a lease yesterday down there and a job up there in high point have you heard about that yeah i heard i heard i heard about it and um actually some things that do go out people mm -hmm. reach out to me mm -hmm. yeah. and i know you told me something some mm -hmm. stuff on it but yeah. and i've seen that people went into the uh mm -hmm. into, <laughs> into the reviews yeah <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I was shut up now i call yeah, i seen that yeah, I, and, and I call uh, Quilla and uh, the lady was like, I understand everybody's concern. I'm going to get it over. And to 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 another department, and they transferred her to his voicemail, and I laid the ass out. <laughs> I said, I don't know what, who over this, who run this, who the doctors is, and who ain't the doctors. But y'all have a mother, you know what I'm saying, possible yeah. accomplice to murder working for y'all and she don't need to be there if we mm. got the schedule that's right. this to that's right. calendar, if y'all for nobody to that's show right. up we gonna do it that's right <laughs> you know what i'm saying we do it we do it that's that's right. it's justice for shanquilla robinson and yes, it's fuck sir. everybody else excuse my language sis but you, you know it's fuck everybody else me mm. i already know that's right. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, Hashtag it's, it's crazy. Justice you for know, Shane Quilla Robinson. I remember when we first, when I first. Uh, Hashtag over, justice and then for Shane Quilla Robinson. Put that in the, just put that in the chat box. Shane Quilla, he'll start sweating. And yeah. yeah. Let's make this, would, let's would, make this would, thing go you know, crazy. Now we can look back, you know, when something happens. got to happen, get justice. You, can't, you can look back and say, that's right. why he was doing that. That's why he, mm -hmm. they was doing this. Yeah. He would be in here sweating. And and pacing and, and pulling his beard and and, yep. and to be honest, now that I think about it, you, think mm -hmm. he was coming down off of something. Guilt was killing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the first thing I thought that mm -hmm. okay, it, it might be because he seen mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. death. That's that you know, guilt killing. I mean? him. Not mm -hmm. thinking that he was right. part of it or mm -hmm. caused it. Right, 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 right. Guilty. Wow. Guilty. I, ooh, ooh, ooh. So eating them up. So. It's so it's, much stuff, and, and and it's so much that I want to know, mm, 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 and mm, we yeah. we would never know until one of them yeah. start talking or be brought in for questions. Because I, I want to know what happened, what how how it went from right. this to that. Why right. is you out there? Why are y'all out right. there fighting her? Why right. is she naked? Right. You know, I can only go when off she of how paid for she the trip. Knew that she slept. She was sleep naked. When she yeah. paid so for the trip. I want to know. And when I seen that video, man, that did something to me. No. It, it made me wish that Bottom I was just a motherfucking fighter. Yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah. and my sister is not a fighter. That's, come right. on, come on, man. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Just for them, like, let me. Okay, did, why did why did Khalil bring them over there? Like, did he say, mm -hmm. "Oh, I'm gonna bring them over here," or they well, just we showed wanted, up? We with wanted them. to talk to them. We wanted to okay. know like, where the girls at. Well, you know, and we was thinking death. Done wow. happen. Why haven't they came by the house and paid their respects? Right. That was more of what mm -hmm. they were. And right. and then we wanted to know what was going on because listen to this, folks. We got listen to this. Saying, no, it was no alcohol poison. They was they was fighting her. They was over there jumping on mm -hmm. her. And we got all listen to this. I don't even know. Sometimes the devil will and, come and meet you face to face. Didn't even know. Listen to this. Right, right. So whoever was over there or who was on that face they time, don't, Got mm -hmm. they, yeah, they got back and, and started right talking. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with, with this generation. You know, you pull out your phones to film everything. What? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what did it. And we just waiting. It's gotta be another part to the to the video because that did that didn't cause her death. That's what I would say. That's what so I was it's like, gotta be it's gotta be something else. Yeah. yeah. And it's to the point like, dog, did they throw her down some stairs? Did, her, right. did they throw her out the back and what, right. her, what did they her do? Neck be severed? Yeah. From her spine. Yeah. Right. What right. did they you do? Know, even if she mm -hmm. would and what people say, even if my sister mm -hmm. was to to have have mm -hmm. survived that, she'd been paralyzed mm -hmm. from the neck down. Yeah. 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 Like what the fuck was they doing? And then she looked sluggish in the video yeah. to me. Yeah. 
Yes. Like, like she didn't they, look like when you fighting and you're in gym, you're and drilling yeah. is, is pumping. You know pumping. what I mean? Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. moved slow. She threw her, yeah. put her hands up. What on did her they head give her? her yeah. Like like they drug her the it. night before? So what did they do? Was she, was she, was it, was huh. it a hangover? So many was questions. It's a lot of stuff and a lot of questions yeah. that we have. And I'm pretty sure everybody no else do that, that haven't been mm -hmm. answered yet. And that eats us up too. Yeah. Yeah. Because we simply don't. Make it. Even if they did not cause the meant for her death, mm -hmm. they was coming back to to Humiliate assess her. what a character and to yep. embarrass yep. her. Yep. They was yep. going to put yep. that video up showing yep. that girl jumping on yep. her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They oh, had yeah. a plan. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had a plan. They and had I a think plan. And what's the Bible say jealousy is as cruel as the grave. I'm not even going to call, call him at that time. Go ahead. And, and the person that we know supposed to have been her best friend is standing there watching the whole thing. Her best friend. <laughs> More like her best enemy. The whole thing. Lied to <laughs> us for at least, it had to be, it had to be about two weeks straight. Maybe a good week and, and mm -hmm. a couple of days. Yeah. And wow. since that video been launched, we ain't seen him, we ain't heard from him. As soon as I seen the video, I called him. Come on. If people went to his house, he, they weren't answering the doors, and now they ain't even at that house. Uh-huh. Where they at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you, at? Where you hiding I don't know at? where they staying at. Where you hiding at? They done packed up and left. They they ain't there. I don't, I, Quilla, I don't, I Come on, Kyle. Can't you just expose yourself? How? Even like you, when you just said a, a few moments ago, even if they did not mean to kill her, Right, the best yeah. friend standing there watching. Why did y'all just come back? Oh, at least Khalil. Now, I'm, Nazir, he said he got there late. He went there when everything happened. So, but Khalil, why you just didn't come back and say, "Mom, sis, listen, this girl was over there jumping on." You know why? Yeah. Because they y'all would have been like, "Well, why the fuck you didn't jump in? Why you didn't stop it?" Right. And then right. Exactly. with Nazir, you say you got there late. You say you went there when everything with the fight allegedly happened. But this is your friend of nine years. This is your friend, and you've been posting about her. But not one time did you come back to Charlotte when you came back. And told you know, he the didn't came and told the truth. Right. Hey, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me jump in right there, Mr. Nazir Wiggins, <laughs> with your little <laughs> horrible video where you talked about you got there the night before. Oh, we all know you said you got there the night before, but what was really strange about your video, you said you were stroking her hair. This is Summer Walker. Now, any of y'all that know Summer Walker, I know Summer Walker. I have some of her songs on my playlist. I know her music. Not only is it sexual, but it's music that's more or less for a private moment for the most part she has some other fast upbeat music but for the most part summer walker it's not music that you console your friend with so like i said in one of my previous streams uh mr nazir walker what kind of perverted shit were you doing while stroking her hair what was you doing what was you doing man stroking her hair Listen to who? Summer Walker? Really? 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 You making yourself more suspect as you open your big mouth because you seem to not be able to keep your mouth shut. If I were you, I wouldn't be in doing videos. I'd be quiet. But see, I know you're too stupid to do that. So you want to keep doing videos and keep popping and bumping your gums. I know. Like the video that you did with the where you're flashing a piece underneath your, in your waistband. You know, you know you got to be a fool. You know you got to be a fool. Deserving of jail time. Because I promise you this, your story is going to get pieced apart. Your destiny is a jail cell. Because you're too stupid to keep your mouth shut, Mr. Nazir Wiggins. You are too stupid to just go under the radar and keep your mouth shut. Man, let's continue. Everybody, everybody now is accessory to murder. Yes. And there's no way in hell that he should have walked in that situation. I don't care how late he got to that situation. Right. He had to see something was wrong. Her neck was broke. Yeah. She's not moving. Mm -hmm. 
When, if you paralyze from your waist down, ain't nothing yeah. moving on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you got to think that that uh, mm -hmm. my, my sister had a knot on her head. Her eyes mm -hmm. were swollen. Her lips were split. We didn't even know if we was going to be able to have an open casket. Mm -hmm. They had to get all of that under control. So he had to see all of that. And that's when I say, I don't know what the fuck Mexico was thinking about or their authorities over there. They dropped the ball on that. They should able to leave and come back into the States. Never. No way. They should have never no been way. able to leave Mexico. No way. That's Mexico right. dropped how the ball. You don't see that. Big how, time. And then, I mean, how you not see Big that? time. I mean, check this out, right? You remember there was a video that I posted up and it had um, Shaquella laying in a hammock, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if people saw this, but in the fight video, right? If you watch it, you will see a hammock outside right there, like like just outside the, the window. Like if you watch okay. in the fight video, you will see a hammock out there. I don't know how many hammocks that they, you know, they had out there, whatever. But obviously he was in her room if right. she was in that hammock. Exactly. Right outside her bedroom where she, right. you know, where the fight, you know. Her happened. best enemy. That but, night, it was dark. I seen that clip. Huh. You saw that clip? What did you think yeah. about? Khalil saying, we have our first dead, dead body, 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 she threw for, have you ever heard that it'd be a slang since you've been living? Uh, I have never heard that. I haven't. I've never no, heard that. I don't, I'm trying to think. I've never heard yeah. that. Yeah. I've never I, heard that. I, I want to say I have though, but no. If yeah. some of you that heard that be term before and it means something else, right? please put that right, in the chat right, box. Right, right. Please yeah, put that in the chat box. If I'm you've like, heard that means something different heard, heard, than a physical dead say, body, then please, if that's a slang or some kind of new you know, age yeah, slang, said, put that in the chat box for me. I want to, I want to see that. Right? Right. Because I've never heard it before. And that was my purpose of actually putting it out there. Because I'm like, but then she winds up dead. How? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And it's like. You know, people say, "Well, why do why 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 did he have her phone?" I mean, they're best they were best friends. They're best friends, right? Yeah, he knew he knew her coach, right? Her. You, you you get what I'm saying? So it's like, oh my gosh, yo, know, like, you know, um, but that that was crazy. Now, we saw a picture with a guy with a pink suit on and a and a boy. I remember you. I'm sure you remember when I reached out to you about that. Yeah. Just to clear up stuff from your mouth, sis. That's Shaquella's godson, right? Yes, that's a godson right. and, and the daddy of that of that child. Right, right, right. Because right. you know how yeah. social media is. Oh, Dark skin yeah. dude with dreads. That's right. his right. father of a god child. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And um, her boyfriend at the time of her passing don't have no social media. He, has he don't have a social interviews. media page. No. Right. Okay. And another thing, I get a lot of people ask me about my mama Instagram account. That Instagram that you guys are are. I think he got listen, over something. Listen, she's gonna let you. She's gonna let y'all know. Is that listen. is not my mother. Exactly. So, guys, we got to be. That's when I say we got to be smarter than what we are, man. My mom' current Instagram account. You got to ask to be her friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not. It's not nothing you can just tap on and become her friend. That's not my mother. Right. And what was the name of that Instagram account? Uh, Salomon. She just made it clear, Robinson. Okay, and they got, that's, that's not her mother's account. Oh, that's not her. That's not her Instagram account. And nice. that's what I was telling them. And I was telling them also that from the accounts that we have of everyone that was on that trip, we only know that Nazir is the only one that has spoken out, okay, right. officially, right? Because right. he can't keep his mouth shut. You know, his video. So, I Mr. mean, they Big got mouth. this page of Elise and they got this page of Dejane and we like, that's right. not even their Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't even think they have, they don't shut down all yeah, this they, Yeah, and we they still don't do. shut down stuff and change phone numbers. Right. They're the only ones that numbers. had any sense. Exactly. Yeah. And we they have shut, to they, they shut everything down. down. None of them that people are sharing are them. That's not and, it. Y'all are so gullible. Like I can, I can make a page of Elise, and y'all gonna believe it's it's gonna it's it's her. Yeah, they gonna believe you, believe it's her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my and god, man! Because they can't find oh like voices god. of them or something. It's easy for any girl to get online and say, "Hey, I'm winner." You know what I'm saying? We don't know what winner really sound like. You yeah. know what I'm saying, or what have you? So it's just the misinformation that has been going out there. Um, that is really, really, really just sad. You know what I'm saying? And this yeah. family are looking for answers and they're looking for the truth and what happened. Right. 
uh, have you heard about the 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 bull jives and theories and stuff like that we like we don't even know what happened uh, no i heard i heard that we're supposed to have a lifetime movie coming out too <laughs> like my god People I've come seen up with a anything. video with somebody anything. got her dad up, got my mom up, then they got who's supposed to be playing their parts. Like, come on, man. And ain't nobody <laughs> from Lifetime contacted y'all. Yeah, nobody told us anything unless they doing it on their own. Doing it on their own, which will be very disrespectful. And whoever put that up, it's, it's another, it's a black, young black female, I believe that was her talking and like, there we go again, our people. Our people. Our people, the white people ain't doing nothing like this. It's all the black people. I ain't people. seen, I haven't seen none of them do anything like that. I ain't that. seen them either. I already <laughs> told them if, 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 if I don't post, and let me, let me, let me just be clear because I want to clear this up, sis. Yeah. I am not y'all's spokesperson, okay? I'm just, <laughs> baby, listen, y'all already going to talk to Miss Tamika Valerie. Shout out to Tamika, okay, Miss Valerie. But, Ooh. you know, I'm just a independent news media outlet that is giving that them. That has a, helped us. Yes. You and to, us. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. And to give y'all that platform, because when we spoke, that was that was the first thing. Like, oh, we can't see the names. You know, y'all had the names. And then it was like, I'm going to find their pictures. That's what I told you. Yeah, you did. And you I did. found their pictures. And we put it out there because everybody needs to know who these people are that was over there with Shanquella and there was no reason that she should not be alive and back over here in Charlotte. That's right. That's no right. Reason. Living her life. Living her best life. But that's yeah. what she was doing. Shout out to all of y'all that hung on the stream with me tonight. Head. I appreciate you. Yeah. I mean, some of y'all didn't even get no, but you ain't getting no man until <laughs> Shanquella did you have. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, let's be real. Now, some of y'all up there in Charlotte, and Charlotte already know, if it weren't for Miss Shanquella Robinson, you would still be running around right here looking like Harpo. She, so. did, a, she did a lot of uh, young young kids, uh, oh, children. Did of yeah, yeah. Okay. Braids. Yes, she did a couple of adult stuff. Yeah, and well, she did some great work too, did, folks. Sis. I've seen her they work. <laughs> Very <laughs> talented, sister. And the, and Very the talented. kids miss her. <sighs> You know, it's just, it's sad. Very it's talented. Just, it's, it's a hard thing. It's just, it's just not good. Very I talented. Hate, yeah. I hate she went over there. She didn't need to go on that. There was one Listen trip she this. didn't need. And what I mean by that, that next Thursday, we had a family trip we was going on. Wow. Like, I mean, she wasn't turning down no trip. That's what she loved to do. She wanted to travel. Uh, when she came up, she the last time I seen her was had to be that Thursday because I believe they left that Friday. Mm -hmm. She came and got a bag for me to, from me to carry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, I didn't even know nothing about the trip. Actually, I said, where y'all yeah. going? And she said, <laughs> she's going to Cabo. She's going with Kalia. She said, Kalia, I didn't have no reason to feel no type of yeah. ill way about it. I, I thought I knew him. I said, yeah. okay, well, then y'all have fun. I said, when she told me she was going to Cabo, I was like, dog, I said, I wanted to go there for my birthday. And she was like, yeah. we can, let's go. She was like, she'll <laughs> go again. I don't want to get ready to go for my birthday. And I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah, sis was like, oh, really? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, she said, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. And I know you miss your sister so I do. Our little like, conversations. And, and if the last couple of videos I put up for her, you can hear her say, you aggravating. You aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> and what she used to always tell me, because I made it my business to aggravate her. Aggravate her. But oh she my. loved it, you know? Yeah. She'd be yeah. like, hey, girl. And I'd be like, hey, boo. Yeah. Wow. It's just, you know, we didn't, I didn't go clubbing with them because it's a good thing. Yeah. I didn't party with her or nothing like that. I'm more like a mom slash mm -hmm. sister because it's a good 19 years in between us. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. only a year older than my son. Yeah. Yeah. But I, um, that was my baby. Is, was Sequela your only sister? Oh, man. That's my only <clears throat> sister, yeah. Bunch Shout out to Gerald Jackson, the NCB, wow. man. Hey, you know, just sitting here. Guys, you, know, you get over to, you. to his channel. You know, I think about Subscribe to his channel. You follow know, this man. Like, that's my dog. Uh, that's... That's he, him, Much me, respect my to mom. George Jackson, man. We all we got. First you know what I'm saying? You're right, yeah. And salute, And I was just, I, I was just telling her. I said, man, we need to start doing more stuff with mom. Like she like it when we all together, me, her, and and, and my mom. Yeah. And yeah. and and look at this, because I, and I'm telling her this because mom getting older. Yeah. And look at this. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Whew, man. 
I know, sis. I, I'm, I'm just, it's like, who do you trust? And I'm telling people, like, people trying to you talk about. You got the, I ain't even going to say you got to be a good judge of character nowadays because your own family can turn on you. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. But there's no oh, way man. in hell, Oof. and what I mean by that, there's no <clears> way right <throat> now, or, well, before this, that my mom would think my BFF would do something to me out of town and not come back and tell her what, uh, tell her what actually happened. The truth. And her mama, her mama, I know, feel the same way. There's no way that she would think I would come back and tell her a lie about what happened to her child. Yeah, that's so crazy. Let me ask you this. I know um, Khalil had kept coming back to the house, and his mom would, would come with him too, right? His mom would come. He stopped coming by himself. He would bring his mom. Listen to said, this. Listen to this, folks. Happen. Mom, come with me in case they know something now type right. of stuff. But did That's she... That's the only reason I could think of. Yeah, right, 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 right. But did for, she... For one time, though, he didn't come. She talked about taking him to the hospital. He had gotten sick. Oh. Well, now we know why you were sick. Huh, it was eating him up. It's eating him up. I know it's really eating him up now. It's really eating him up now. So the mom didn't even you came over to my house, but you ain't called she ain't folks. I want to bring something to your attention. If y'all can remember, there's something that happens in the mind of a Judas. <clears throat> there's something that happens in the mind of a Judas. And in the spirit of a Judas, when they know that they have wronged someone who is unworthy of that type of betrayal. This is not a religious channel like you've heard me say in previous streams, but I want to bring something to your attention. For those of you that know scripture, remember when Jesus was betrayed by Judas what did he do when he found out and he came face to face with his betrayal? What did he do? He committed suicide. He hung himself. You see? So when you look at Khalil, knowing all of the hospitality he received from her family members, all the love and acceptance that he received from Members of her family, Shanquilla's family, that was not related by blood to him. For years, eating at her home, enjoying trips with her family members. To know that he was guilty or complicit in such a devious, horrendous, horrific act that cost the life of the girl, the young lady that he deemed to be his best friend while at the same time being accepted as a family member by her family. You see what happens on the inside of the human being when you let the devil get a hold of you like that. He got sick. He couldn't be with himself. I will tell you this, Mr. Khalil, if you hear my stream, don't kill yourself. No. Don't kill yourself. Oh, I want you to stay alive. And I want you to stay alive long enough for the hands of the authorities to get their hands on you. Stay alive. Don't kill yourself. Don't be a coward twice. You were already a coward in Mexico. Don't be a coward twice and kill yourself. No, stay alive. Eat well. Be healthy when they get you. Be healthy when they bring you into custody. You know, don't take the coward route and take your own life. No, don't do that. We already know you're Judas, but you don't have to follow in the same footsteps. Don't kill yourself. Stay alive. We want to see you on TV. You want to be famous, right? Well, we want to make you famous. We want to see you on TV with handcuffs. Yeah. We want to see you going out with your head bowed. You know how you don't like to look at the camera when you're taken into custody. We want to see that. We want to see you escorted with two officers on both sides. That's what we want to see. And we want to see your silly coward self 
go into custody. That's what we want to see. So, please, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. You already were a coward once. Don't be a coward twice. Let's continue. No, shit, why would you? Right. We'd be like, tell your son to go tell the truth. We need to speak to somebody. Sam PD, um, FBI. Ain't no need to call us. If you ain't trying to help us, ain't no need to send no condonance. Yeah. And your yeah. child was involved with it. Yeah, that part. You know, I would at least, you know, you know, sometimes, you know. You would think she, you'd be like, I would tell my son, you need to go ahead and tell the truth. Yes, yeah, so you would have You need to go ahead and let them, and, and let them know what happened to my to their child. Mm -hmm. Go talk to somebody. Tell somebody what happened. Some some go talk to yeah. the law. Let them know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And you would have thought that that's what she would have probably called and said. Right, because you know, just like we, we saying that they good friends, the mama know that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She know that. She don't been my sister don't been on trips with his family and his mama. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> and I just feel like, like I was saying, like, girl, you could at least call this the thing. level I of betrayal. My son, whatever huh. happened, he need to tell wow. you all the truth. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't even give that, you ain't even call and give that courtesy to the family. You didn't even stand that Jesus and told him, to, I done told Khalil to tell what happened. I don't know what, <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to find out what's going on. But I'm going to keep, like, y'all ain't do none of that. Mama's didn't do none of that. Mm -hmm. My mama would have never, never. Now my mama's gonna cover me and stuff, but she ain't gonna cover but me. Some stuff no, just, no, 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 no. Not yeah. covering you on and that. You see all this stuff I'm not going covering on. you I'm on sure that. She'll wear the video. Somebody on top. I don't care if you're my son or my daughter. I'm not covering you on that. No. If you're not, not looking at, at nothing, somebody not at told all. you something. No. Nope. That is so crazy. I know, but some of y'all mamas and daddies will. So how was the rally? The rally was good. The rally was good and much needed. Some of y'all really will. Enjoyed it. Some of y'all yeah, are. Really enjoyed it. Some of y'all do. So much love from all over the world. The people are just. Whew, they just and you think you're a good parent by doing they it. They are it's really That's the sad part. Yeah. Appreciative. Yeah. We are. Yeah. It has yeah. helped. Yeah. It is. And we got to keep, y'all, we got to keep. Shaquella name out there, and we got to keep this family lifted up and keep prayer. it out there. You know, that keep God praying for this family and give them the keep praying for this family and keep praying for the strength for this family and the justice they deserve. That Shanquella's death will not be in vain. Yeah, but I've stood by Absolutely. families and I've seen them fight. I've seen how some days it's hard to get out the bed. Some days it's it's hard. Yeah. To, to eat or to do go to the gym yes or just to get out i you know, know I'm yes there it is. i went and i actually went to the gym yes. yesterday i, I oh, felt yeah. good Ooh, and i yes. and i couldn't get i couldn't do it today yeah you kind i wanted of. to stay in the house and not yeah. do nothing yeah wow be strong sis is there anything else you want to you want to say um want to add that we might have missed or <coughs> something no i know yeah, i don't want to keep you long no 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 I want you to call me in the morning. I sure will. I love you so much. I love man. you too. Thank, Thank you, man. Shout out I to Gerald Jackson again of the NC Bye. Beat. Again, get over right, to his guys, page so on Facebook, Twitter, Shanquilla and Instagram. Support this man because he's the first boots on the ground. That's the reason this story took flight the way it did. He was the first one to make it take flight. Support my man, Gerald Jackson of the NC Beat. She told you clearly. Shout out hey, to you, my brother. Ain't true. The rest is not true. You know, I mean, who is this cousin? They don't know who she is. I mean, and among the fact that, you know, these individuals are still out here, you know, not living their best life because, as, as <laughs> Paul said, don't even want to be around. I think they're them. living their best life. Be you know, and let's yeah, just keep this family in prayer, y'all, and keep on sharing Shantella Robinson's story. And <laughs> their best life is when the sheriffs pick them up. There have been no when the police arrest. Pick them up. That's no one is in custody life. yet. You know, I had a source tell me that the FBI has started questioning people. And then, you know, this this information come out, you know, about uh, with, 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 with uh, Nazir's mom talking about her son. I'm there, clear girl, you cleared your son. 
Come on, come on, come FBI on. FBI has to clear it anymore. Come on. Okay, as as FBI as don't as clear as nobody like that. Who she thinks she's talking to? This family's concerned. Everyone is still a suspect. Who she thinks she's so talking to? at the to? end of the day, let's keep on fighting. FBI don't, don't clear you from a conversation. They clear you from an investigation. Who the Cabo sits You know she's an idiot. And anytime they see their ass. She's just being a mama trying to protect her son. You don't belong here. Because they have that right to say, I don't want you in here. You gonna tell the truth of what happened? Well, get your ass out. Right. You ain't coming right. Out so keep praying for this family. Thank you so much, Quilla, for this interview. I know she's off now, but I just want to say thank you so much. Keep thank playing so for much. a shout out to you, Party Joe Jackson. Jackson. Salute to you, man. To you and your keep family. doing your thing, bro. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget, if you have a story that you think the public should know about, go to news tip, email us at news tip at the ncbeat.com. Okay. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you guys for getting on. I hope I hope that was informative for you. Uh, again, I want to uh, thank all of you that got on the stream tonight. Again, shout out to all my new subscribers to YouTube. For those of you that don't know my channel on YouTube, I am Let's Talk About It Now. Let's Talk About It Now on YouTube. Jump on there and support your boy, man. Subscribe and share. Uh, we're trying to do some good things and my objective is to give you guys good content, factual content, credible content. I'm doing my gut-wrenching best not to fall into, into the trap that so many content creators have fell into. And that's just following after a narrative that has not been fact-checked. Now, that has not been verified. I don't want that. I understand that the internet is forever. And what I say today will be here tomorrow and many years to come. I am genuinely concerned about this family, the Robinson family and the Long family getting the justice that they deserve. And in addition to that, I'm equally as concerned at Shanquella Robinson's death not being in vain. She didn't die for nothing. She didn't have to die. But she said she damn sure didn't die for nothing. She had a full life ahead of her. She was 25 years of age and successful. And successful. And successful. She went 2,000 miles away with people that she thought were her friends. Would you go 2,000 miles away with anyone if you didn't think you were safe? Would you? And if you had five people or six people with you, but you knew there was one person within that group that you trusted with all of your heart, all of your mind, and believed that they were your friend, even if you were suspect with the five, you would have still gone if you believed that you were safe with the one. She went on a trip 2,000 miles away out of her comfort zone.